And as your physical body relaxes, as every part of that body relaxes, you can uh, allow that to take you inward. And it may be that you can feel that relaxation around you as the physical body gets more and more comfortable. More and more comfortable that allows you gently to move the focus of awareness inward. Being aware of the breath. Noticing the gentle movement of the diaphragmatic breath. The in and the out. And being with it holding your awareness with that movement. That's right. And noticing how, noticing the breath, Bring on that feeling of gentle calm. A calm that can spread outwards, upwards, downwards. As that calm spreads, it may be that the word calm resonates through the whole of your being. Taking you deeper and deeper into that state of calm. A state of inner reflection. a state of inner knowing, just being aware. And from this place of calm, from this place of inner awareness, ready to make the spiritual connections. And we ask that we be surrounded as a group with love, light and protection. And we ask that that protection be from the highest source. So we can now gently move our awareness up to the top of our heads, to the crown chakra. And we can visualize it, sense it as a white flower floating on a still pond. In Eastern philosophy, they use the lotus flower. But whatever it is for you. And see the petals of that flower opening. 
sense it, whatever works for you. And into the center of that flower, a beam of white golden light coming down from the divine. That's right. Take a moment to really feel that beam of light entering the crown chakra. And that beam of light is a flow of energy. And that flow of energy starts its journey around the back of the head to the top of the spine. Staying with it every centimeter of the way, holding your awareness with it as it gently moves around the back of the head. Centimeter by centimeter. Feeling that flow at the top of the spine. And that flow continues its journey down the spine. Slowly. See it with your inner eye moving down. Hold your awareness with it. Level with the heart center, but in the spine, moving down, all the time moving. Level with the solar plexus, but in the spine, moving down. the belly button all the time moving gently gently down the energy highway of the body and then all the way down to the base of the spine take a moment to feel it there See it with your inner eye. And then see the whole of that energy flow from the base of the spine all the way to the top of the head. Be aware of it. Be aware of it for what it is, energy, light, your light. top of the head like a shower white golden light starting to fill the head space moving down through the purple of the third eye filling the head space down to the throat center, the blue. Moving through that blue and out across the shoulders and being aware of both shoulders at the same time. White golden light showering down. And from the shoulders down the upper arms both arms showering down to the elbows
the lower arms to the wrists. Out through the hands and fingers. Your upper limbs alive with white golden light. And that shower, that white golden light starts to fill the body space. Moving down, down through the green of the heart center, showering down white golden light through the yellow of the solar plexus. through the orange of the sacral center just below the belly button, filling that space with white light. And then down to the base, the red of the base center, with the base of the spine. Feeling it moving through that red and into the legs. And being aware of both legs at the same time as it moves down. White golden shower to the knees. And from the knees down the lower legs to the ankles. To the feet toes, take a moment to feel the whole of you now in your light body, pushing out into your aura, see that white golden light, be that white golden light. This is you in your light energy body. This is the other you, the greater you. Feel that vibration. That's right. And now pushing out that light, love and light to the right, and receiving it from the left. Do that now that we can make this second connection where we join together. Love and light to the right, receive it from the left in our circle. we can work as one and as one we offer ourselves in spiritual service and in order to complete all the connections we invite in the angelic host the angelic fathers we see that as a blue dome of energy descending down from above like angels with wings touching. And that blue energy that is the angelic host reaches out to each one of us individually and connects to the upper part of our hearts. Take a moment while that connection takes place. Feel it, see it, sense it.
That's right. And with that connection in place now, we invite in Mother, Father, Earth as the last connection. And within our circle, we see the earth opening up and a dome of white golden light with a tree of life in the middle appearing out of that hole, slowly and gently. Father Earth connects to each of us by sending out roots around the edge of the circle that enter our light bodies through our feet. Move up gently and slowly and connect to the lower part of our hearts. Take a moment for that connection. with all the connections in place, I will now read out the intention which aligns us with angelic intention and angelic vibration that energy might transfer as appropriate. I will read that out now. This is called Lifeline, Lifeline. And in the normal course of things, spirits who have incarnated into physicality are fed from within with divine energy. And food is a very good analogy. That divine energy ensures that the physical body and the mental body that they have inhabited are maintained at optimum level. In other words, they don't become sick. They don't become mentally challenged. Their vehicle is perfect for the duration of their particular incarnation. This intention, which runs until the 21st of June, is that the energies that always flow from the source, from within, to each spirit that is incarnated into physicality on Earth during this period are effective. In other words, they strengthen the bond between physicality and source energy. In order for the energies to be most effective during this time, to restore people, for that is the intention to some extent, to restore energetic balance and purpose within incarnated spirits on earth. It is also important that people become still so there is a duality to this intention. The first intention is to strengthen the reception of the energies. The energies are constant from divinity, from source, to strengthen the reception of these energies during this period for souls on earth. The second intent is that a stillness should come across the earth so that people can take stock. And in taking stock, and in slowing down and in becoming still for a period each day during the intention period, the energies will replenish themselves, will restore them and will be accepted more easily on a subconscious level. If accepted subconsciously by souls during this period, then not only will those souls be restored, their ailments will lessen, their mental stresses will lessen but they will begin, it is hoped, to see more clearly. So clarity of vision is also an intention within the intention. And by clarity of vision, I mean, of course, a return to spiritual consciousness, 
spiritual values and spiritual connections with the earth, with each other and with all expressions of life. As a coda, as a conclusion, the intention will also enhance in a positive way existence for all forms of life on earth during this period and will bring a greater joy to those forms of life that are not encumbered with the mental and physical ailments that apply to human souls because of the complexity they have attributed to those aspects of their being. That is our intention, lifeline, and that is our intention along with angelic intention, lifeline. I will go quiet now and bring you around when the time is appropriate.
and soul. As we come to the end of this meditation, we give thanks that we were allowed to take part here today. And we give thanks for the energy that is transferred. And in order that we can come back safely into our physical bodies, we address the connections in the reverse order. So firstly, with our gratitude, we disconnect with Mother, Father, Earth. We see, we hear, we feel those roots that connected to the lower part of our hearts, gently disconnecting, moving down our light bodies out and back into the hole in the middle of our circle. And we see or sense that dome of white golden light with the tree of life that Mother Father is represented by gently start disappearing back into the earth. And then the earth closing over. from the angelic host attached to us in the top part of our hearts gently disconnects moves back into the dome of blue energy that the angelic host is and with our gratitude the angelic host gently start to disappear to move upwards to the divine. And now we move our awareness to our crown chakra, that white flower on the top of our heads. And we ask that each one of us be continue to be protected, that the sanctuary be protected and cleansed at all times. And then we see that laser-like connection disappear back into the divine and we close down our crown chakra, that white flower. We do that by seeing the petals close tight. See it or sense it, whatever way works for you. And then we move our awareness to our foreheads, to our brow center, purple. We see that as a purple flower and we close those petals up tight. And we move our awareness down to our throat center blue. We see that as a blue flower, we close the petals up tight. center green in the middle of the chest. See that as a green flower and close the petals up tight. Move 
curving down to the solar plexus between the rib cage. It's yellow. See that as a yellow flower close the petals up tight. And then down to the sacral center, which is just below the belly button and it's orange. See it as an orange flower close the petals tight. of the spine, red, facing downwards and like a, an inverted cop in red. So the, it's half open, half closed, filled with white light in the middle so that we remain grounded as well as protected. And then we envelop ourselves in an egg or an overcoat of white light that moves with us wherever we are protecting. And from within that protection, you can start to feel your physical body, back in your physical body, moving your fingers and your hands, feet on the floor or wherever they are. Having a stretch Start making things work back into your bodies. That's right. That's right. Welcome back.